Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Today we're going to discuss AWS Lambda versus EC2, starting with an explanation of what both of these are, and then sharing what to consider when making your decision. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Let's jump into it. Leading the path in diverse cloud services is Amazon Web Services with over 1,000 different services. Each service in this large tool set is specifically tailored to enhance the cloud experience. However, it can get tricky to know precisely which one to use and when. Lambda and EC2 are of the most used services. Both offer elastic computational resources. Let's compare both to understand which one is the right choice for your environment. So what is AWS Lambda? AWS Lambda offers function as a service with on-demand cloud computing. It has enabled users to change the way they create and run applications. Previously, operation teams would allocate resources based on forecasting. Computation and memory demands could not exceed the limits of a user's system. With the advent of Agile solutions and AWS Lambda, the management and provisioning of the underlying compute resources is done automatically. It allows a user to run code serverless. Lambda functions in different languages such as Node.js, Java, Go, Python, etc., etc. It is the ideal solution for any event-driven situation, which means the code is implemented based on some predetermined trigger. So what is EC2? Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud is a service that lets users create virtual cloud infrastructure through EC2 instances. Users can establish powerful servers in the cloud through on-demand computing resources. The amount of disk space, CPU performance, memory, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, can be changed as per the requirement. AWS EC2 Web Service is known as Infrastructure as a Service. EC2 allows you to host your application on more than one platform. The multi-model and multi-tenant architecture takes place under stiff security. Developers can create applications in a similar fashion as on-premises infrastructure, as instances are accessed by HTTP or HTTPS. Now let's look at AWS Lambda versus EC2 and which one you should choose. Both Lambda and EC2 have their own unique offerings. Neither one is better than the other. Instead, a user needs to figure out which one suits their needs better. AWS Lambda is recommended for users who do data manipulation at regular intervals. A simple example of this would be uploading data at a certain time each week. But you need certain filters when it comes to S3 bucket. The Lambda function would enable users to achieve exactly this. When the data comes to the S3 bucket, the Lambda function would recognize it as trigger Lambda will loop through the bucket and conceal the data as soon as the trigger is pulled. In case the program fails, the file is eliminated from the S3 bucket. This is a better solution as Lambda only charges for each request and time. EC2 charges customers for the set amount of time it must run. For example, a certain time each week, it charges for every second the instance is running. Not only does EC2 allow users to move their computations on the cloud, but with EC2 instance, each time the demand or traffic on the website rises, it scales out and scales back when the demand or traffic goes back to normal. This saves companies that don't specialize in database management from additional operational costs. EC2 is perfect for building websites. However, AWS LightSail works better for WordPress websites. EC2 enables users to build the whole ecosystem around a particular task. As Amazon services scope becomes wider and deeper, the challenge becomes to choose the right tool. Appoint Lambda when it comes to event-driven programming and EC2 when you require more customized solutions. While Lambda only performs a function as a service, EC2 lets you work with operating systems such as Windows or Linux. EC2's AMI can assist you in disaster recovery circumstances. So there you have it. I hope this video has given you better clarity about the differences between AWS Lambda and EC2 and the best way that you can use its expertise. 
As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.